All right, we have one more battle, guys. And uh, listen, I'm telling you right now, your main event, the, your second main event of the night. I'm, I'm, I'm just a fan of both of these comics. Yeah, I'm amped up general. for this. this and is both be these fun. guys are killer battlers. And you guys, in my opinion, are in for a treat. But once again, we need some energy in this place. Are you ready for your final battle? Come on, guys, let's do it. Battle! 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 Here we go. Your uh, your first battler, uh, originally from Boston, Massachusetts. He is three and one in competition. His name is Christian Finnegan. Clap it up! Honored to be here, Lewis. Honored to be here. Thank you for having me. Very happy to have you back, Christian. Every time yes. you're here, it's a pleasure. You do great. All right. Well, it's competition that. tonight. He's no joke. He is a beast himself. <clears throat> uh, he is just one and zero in competition. He's originally from Youngstown, Ohio. His name is Mike Vecchione. Clap your hands. Come on. Uh, he's from Philly, son. That's Philly right there. He ain't from Ohio. His dad owned a mushroom cannery or some shit. Jay, don't put my business out there. No, the business is. You represent Philly. This ain't your podcast, You represent bro. Philly, son. Stop trying to ruin my focus, You represent you Philly, Philly to be son. Judge. You don't come up with that Youngstown bullshit. You are a late Philly, ad. son. You could be taken off. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You are behind the eight ball on me right now, my friend. Did you guys all decide to wear hoodies tonight? Was that the thing that you guys decided oh, to do? Oh, shit. Straight Although on. we decided to iron our shirt. Oh. All right, here it is. Bam! This from, is from the only Jew who's ri who rides the rails. Look at that fucking hat, you hack. These guys do not care about the judges' opinions at all. That's how fucking hardcore these battles. Mike, Mike, I forgive you. The minute you. I fucking give a shit about what Voss says about me, kill me, please, <laughs> fucking kill me. I forgive you, Mike, for your for your crazy shit from before. Here it is. It's gonna be a three rounder. <laughs> First round. Here it is, guys. Call him there, Mike. Tails. It's one of these new coins. Just guess. No one knows. Heads. Fuck. Do you want to? <laughs> I'm already losing. I, Christian, do you want to go first or defer? I will defer. Mike, you're gonna go first. I will. Christian, go first. you're going second. This is the first round. Clap your hands. Yeah, yeah. Let's roast. <laughs> Christian has a unique look. Everybody, look at Christian. The joke will work better. Christian has a unique look. <clears throat> He looks like Justin Bieber fucked Jared from Subway and then queefed in a Banana Republic. All right, all right. Well, if you know one thing about Mike Vecchione, first of all, congratulations for being a liar. Um, but if you know one thing about Mike Vecchione, it's that you know that he did a wonderful job accompanying Frodo Baggins through Mordor. Um, Mike looks like he should be walking through the Shire picking fights with other hobbits wearing a hat that says make Middle Earth great again. <laughs> Christian was on a show called Are We There Yet? During Christian's comedy set, Are We There Yet? is what audiences ask themselves as they wait for a punchline. Were you commenting on your own joke there? Thank you, you affliction t-shirt that got struck by lightning and became self-aware. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Fun fact, Mike Vecchione was an accomplished high school and college wrestler. Uh, in his most famous match, Mike was seen in Staten Island wrestling loose cigarettes from a dying black man. <laughs> oh. That's good. I'll give you that. <sighs> All right, calm down. Everybody calm the fuck down. Get your laugh out, and then let's just fucking straighten it out. Are We There Yet? I'm not done with this yet. Are We There Yet is a great show, and from the looks of your career, Christian, the answer is no. Uh, Mike attended Penn State University. Uh, he chose Penn State because he figured he was short enough to be mistaken for a child to get mouthfucked by Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> Christian's in-laws are deaf. 
Both Christian and his in-laws get along because they are both used to silence and staring. Stand-up comedy joke. Stand-up comedy joke. I get it. It's a stand-up it. comedy yeah. joke. Um, you know, uh, what I like about Mike's comedy is that it's never political. He never gets up on a soapbox, which is unfortunate for people sitting in the back. It's a short joke. Thank you. Yes. Round one, give it up for both these guys. Come on. Michael Che, what'd you think? God, Dan, I, that was tough because uh, I thought you both had tied for like the best jokes with the, uh, the, the one you told and the one you told. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go, I'm going to go with consistency. I'm going to go with Christian. Damn it, Che. Christian Finnegan gets one vote for Michael Che. Let's go to Rich Boss. It's unbelievable that Christian, after all these years, is finding his voice. Uh, it almost on, it almost seemed like it, uh, a fight in Animal House. You know what I mean? Uh, no, you don't. Uh, what I'm saying is they were both great. Uh, I'm, go to him. No vote from Boss. Sal Volcano, what do you think? This is, a, this is a mistake. I'll give it to Christian. Christian gets two votes. Uh, I watched it, and I enjoyed it. And I'm, I, I, f I truly feel this. I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel it. I, I felt it was a tie. And so I don't know what to say there. That's, a, that's okay, by the way. Yeah, I don't get paid for this. That's also very So true. I thought it was a tie. I did think it was a tie, though. So if you have anything to say to me, let's say it outside in about half hour. So two votes for Christian. I'm just saying, don't fuck with me. It's what I'm saying. Give me a fucking second, Lewis. I think it was a fucking tie. If anybody here has anything to fucking say to me, in 30 minutes, I will fuck you up outside. That's what I'm fucking saying. If we could just stop the show down for a fucking second, Lewis. If anybody wants to battle me outside, 30 fucking minutes, me and you, I think it was a fucking tie. I have my own microphone. I, I should have took it for the effect. <laughs> He's been drinking soda all night, too. <laughs> He's Two votes for Christian, one vote for a fucking tie. Big J, what do you think here? Mike? Yes. Where are you from? Philadelphia, PA. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Mike. <laughs> Bullshit. What? Bullshit, that is. Uh, <laughs> so you got two votes for Christian, one vote for a tie, one vote for Mike. We got a Dave Smith, Dave also Smith. very close friends with Mike Vecchio. It's a little questionable, but go ahead. Am I the only one who thought that Jay was going to find a way to work in a thing about him and Suba's management company again? And that, that I was like, how's he going to do it in this battle? But all right, he didn't go. Honestly, dude, th this is tough to judge because this is different. If you guys know from the other battles that these two are uh, professional comedians. <laughs> so like, I don't feel that comfortable to just sit here. It's actually really cool that they both took time and wrote for this, and they're great. Like so, I'm, I, it was really a complete pick 'em. That one, you guys both wrote great jokes. I'm going tie. I'm bitching out. Thank you. Oh, okay, so we got two votes for tie, one vote for uh, Mike, two votes for Christian. By the rules of mixed martial arts, I believe that that's a split draw. I'm gonna give it to Christian. Christian gets round one, guys. Right. Christian takes round one. All that's right. it. You got two of the votes. I don't know. Look, they're against you, Christian. Feel good. That's all right. I get it. I'm not from Philly. Whatever. <laughs> But Christian, just That's say your you parents' are. fault. <laughs> Christian, here's the thing. He's also not from Philly. I know. He just said it. All right, Christian's going first this time. 45 seconds straight through each. Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands. Let's get this going. Come on. Let's get it going. Christian Finnegan. Let's go. All right. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, Mike Vecchion. Vecchion is Italian for your feature this evening. Uh... <laughs> Mike has so little going on. When I found out that we were battling each other, I got concerned for my career. <laughs> the thing is, there is more to Mike that meets the eye. He's very soft-spoken. His cadence, it's almost hypnotizing. I'm sorry, I misread that. Uh, I'm sorry, ro hypnotizing um, Mike has auditioned for Last Comic Standing numerous times and always gets just far enough to be humiliated on national television. <laughs> Seriously, two-thirds of Mike's uh, uh, TV credits uh, are of him slouched over in a green room trying to hold back tears as he applauds for younger, more successful comedians. 
I'll decide when my last joke is, fucker. <laughs> what, are you going to sick the Gomites on me? You overbranded hack? <laughs> a lot of people... A lot of people say that Mike did not make the final cut because his comedy sucks, and by a lot of people, I mean America. But the real reason Mike did not uh, make it on Last Comic Standing is because the judges never believed he was actually standing. They thought it was like a dwarf on golf situation. Um, all right, that's it. Yes. Yes. That was good. Is it my time? Are you start the clock already? Okay. <clears throat> People think Christian has no facial hair, but that's not true. His wife is his beard. He's gay. What do I mean by that joke? You need to fucking spell it out for you? He's fucking gay. <clears throat> Christian has a beautiful wife named Cambria Cruz. <clears throat> the name, she's sweet, but the name sounds like a team that rapes strippers at an Ivy League school. Cambria crew, fuck you guys. <clears throat> Christian's wife owns a comedy club called QED. <clears throat> we would have had the roast at QED, but we needed people in the audience. <laughs> QE QED is the HPV of comedy clubs. And by that, I mean cervical cancer is more fun. I don't know why you fuckers have turned on me. Okay, these are great fucking QED jokes. Mike, I have one more. Mike, you never had them for them to turn. Voss, pipe down. Christian has, a, Christian has a unique name. Christian sounds like a religion, and Finnegan sounds like a bar that you would go to to get the taste of a boy's dick out of your mouth. <laughs> Saved it. Saved it. Fuck you guys. Saved it. Mark Vickyown, Christian Finnegan. It's been crazy here. Let's go to Dave Smith. What do you think, buddy? You gotta start, dude. You gotta judge the you gotta judge your superiors. Go ahead. I just turn to the audience and do that. Oh, I guess I should turn the mic on. Um fuck. That was a really fucking good round. Honestly, I I thought Christian edged it out, but it was a really fuck. good round. Christian gets one vote. Dave Smith is out of my will. Uh, Big J. This is tough. I can only answer this if... Who could join in this song with me? Fly, eagles, fly On the road to victory Fly, eagles, fly. I root for the uniform! I don't care who it is! Mike Vecchio! Yes! Matt, come back strong! I came back strong on that last one. It was like Rocky, Jay. I was getting beat, but I came fucking back. You came back! I came back! Yeah! My was, ring's outside. This was Rocky too. <laughs> you knocked him down. Why don't you try knocking me down now, Finnegan? <laughs> Michael Che. <Jay. laughs> uh, this is weird because I thought Becky Owen's last joke was maybe the best joke of the round. But I think Christian's uh, set was better. I think you're right. So I'm going to say Christian. <laughs> I'm going two Christian. Votes, two votes for Christian. One vote for Mike Vecchione. Now, Christian, you, is that club still open in the one you guys have in uh, Queens? Yes. Mike, do you have Mike? Do you have a Mike? Do you have a club? No. Oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> no. Here's the, what is it? What's the votes? So all right, as of right now, we got two votes for Christian, one vote for Mike. It's got to go to a third round. So I want to go to a third round. It's got to go to a third, no matter what. Well, no, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. No, 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 no. If I lose, if, if he loses. We didn't fucking write these jokes for nothing. Please let us give a third round. Yes, that's what we want. Score I'm a sorry. touchdown. Oh. All right. Well, Mike, you might open a club someday, so I'm going to vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike McGill's got two votes. Chris has got two votes. It's up to Sal whether or not we go home right now or we go to a third round. Don't you ever. <laughs> I will not even turn around to look you in the fucking face. But don't you ever come to a roast battle on a late fucking Tuesday night and tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs>
I love you both. I know you both. As a general rule, I would just say, try to be more successful. <laughs> uh, That's a complete joke. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> and I had to say something mean because this is what, what they asked me to come here for. I, I can't even hold a candle to you guys. You guys are two of the best joke writers I've ever seen in my life. It's a fucking tie, of course. So right, we, go to a tie. we go to a third round. Round three. So we're going to a third round. Let the third round decide. Here it is, guys. Two of the best battlers in the city. Clap your hands. Let's get this energy going. Come on. Mike's going first. Chris is going second. One round, tip for tat. Let's roast. <sighs> Christian used to be fat. I liked it better when you were fat. I still wasn't laughing, but at least I could stare at your tits. Mike has an album called Muscle Confusion, which is the perfect title for a Mike Vecchione album, and not just because it in no way implies comedy. Um, <laughs> it's perfect because Mike's muscles are confused these days. They're saying, what happened to us? Where did we go? Why are we no longer muscles? When I met Mike 15 years ago, he looked like a bodybuilder, and I guess he still is, but he's just building a tubby pile of shit. Mike's even up on being famous through comedy, so it's... How many jokes are we doing? This Wait! Is all, this is all one joke. Um, there's no rules here, Lewis? Mike has given up on being famous through comedy, so now his goal is to set the record by being the first human who can be measured out as a perfect square. I should have stopped when you said. Damn it. That's Cube would have been is funnier. Is it my turn Cube yet? Funnier. Somebody wake me up when it's my turn. Hey, hey, more wait, fat hey, jokes. Hey, wake up. It's 1999. <laughs> I'm not saying Christian was fat, but he accidentally cheated on his wife with his extra skin. <laughs> take that. You fucking take it. Uh, um, you know, Mike has uh, been known over the years for sporting a flat top haircut, because, you know, why be attractive? Um... <laughs> Mike uh, keeps the flap top so more successful comedians like Jay uh, Okerson can brush drinks on his head while he's blowing them from a stand-up position. Right. Damn it! This fucking audience will turn on you in a second. Now, they were right. They were right on that one. I'll fight you all. <laughs> Christian, are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's get the momentum back, okay? Christian was so fat and on so many black shows. <clears throat> After he lost the weight, they made a movie about his dick and balls called Hidden Figures. <laughs> that was good. That was good. You know, I've made a lot of jokes about Mike being short, uh, but it's not fair to say that he has a Napoleon complex. After all, Napoleon actually achieved things. Um, Napoleon once took over the whole of Europe, uh, whereas Mike Vecchione has been known to take over the whole of any skank who passes out in the ladies' room of whatever Ukrainian nightclub he's playing that weekend. <laughs> and by playing, I mean barbacking. <laughs> Christian is a boring Bill Cosby. Cosby is a comedian that puts you to sleep and rapes you. Christian rapes you with his comedy until you fall asleep. Another fun fact about Mike Vecchione, uh, after, uh, after college, he spent time as a special ed teacher. Uh, so we know who to blame for Mike thinking he could become a comedian. <laughs> a lot of failed comics get paid in drink tickets. Mike Vecchione is the only comic to get paid in hugs. That's it. One more time for Mike and Christian. Yeah. Great battle. Let's go to Michael Che. Uh, I got to go Vecchione, man. He had gears, yeah. and uh, he kind of turned it up. I feel like, uh, Christian, you... Yeah, so, yeah, I got to say I gotta say Vecchione. Mike Vecchione gets one vote. Let's go down to the other line. Dave Smith, what do you think? Uh, first off, uh, uh, look, I want to say Christian, that was an awesome move after the second round because when he was winning on votes and Christian was like, go to a fucking third round because we all wrote these jokes. Yeah. Uh, to get him out, so that was awesome. And genuinely, you guys are both like excellent. Fucking well, some people writers. call it awesome. Some people would call it idiotic. But oh, oh no, it's retarded. I'm about to give this to Vecchione. But yeah. the point I'm making is that uh, 
the point I, I was gonna. This is obviously like a concession type thing. No, but you guys are both great. Thanks so much for writing. That was fucking hilarious. But I did think Vecchione edged out that round. Two votes for Mike Vecchione. <laughs> Big J Okerson, what do you think? Hit him high, hit him low, and watch our <laughs> eagles fly. So fly, eagles fly, on the road to victory. Come on, E-A-G-L-E-S, eagles. What a shit town to be proud of. I can't argue I that. I changed my hey, vote. Uh, can I, can I, I can't change argue my that. vote? <laughs> can I change my vote? I don't want to go down with Team Wawa over here. I'm, uh, you shut You love Wawa, Dave. I spent so many hours in Wawa with I you. I said I love Tasty Cakes. Okay. Uh, I'll, give it to, uh, I'll give it to Christian to make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Two votes for Mike. One vote for Christian. Selva Connell, the Impractical Jokers. What do you think? I have nothing, nothing even funny to say. I look up to you both. That was amazing. And I'm going to fucking fuck Voss in his asshole right now. I'm going to fuck him. I'm going to give that to Christian just to, just to fuck Voss in his asshole. Now, when you... Two votes for Christian. Two votes for Mike when you, It's all on Rich Voss. How does it feel on. your asshole? When you fuck me in the asshole, are there going to be three guys filming this and talking in another room? You fucking boat act. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Two. I was told to do it. <laughs> I, was, I was told. Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm told to fuck Voss. So if I... Because I thought... If it's a tie, they got to go another round. No. Yes. There's One more joke. Round. One more joke. One right more joke. joke. Wait. Oh, wait. Hang on. I think Mike's out of jokes. Well, here's because I, to tell you the truth, I thought it was a fucking tie on that one because Christian, I mean, he did bomb, but I was thinking of his second set. You know what I mean? And he did say, let's do this again, which takes a lot of character. You see what I'm saying? I got and Mike it. was his second set was horrendous, but he came out. You know what I mean? So it kind of balances out. Right. You see what I'm fucking saying? You gotta pick one right now. It's or, right. Or, or listen, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, watch If it's a tie, they just go to Joe Joe, no, and then the no, audience no, no, no. There's votes. No more jokes. No more jokes. No more jokes. And the, the audience. fight is over. How about the audience? More yeah. Jokes. Rich, you want to give it to the wait, audience? Sir. Wait, wait, hold on, Lewis. See the problem. I know the problem. You got to catch the bus home. I'll give you a ride, Lewis. All right, don't fucking worry. No, I'll get you home. I'll get you back to the project. Rich, that Bank of America isn't going to clean itself overnight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lewis. I, I, all together, I'm looking at the whole fucking scheme. The whole thing. Tied. So we're going to the audience. Yes. So we're going to the audience. So go to the audience. I'm going to the audience. Oh, Hold on. Who's a coward? Everyone shut the fuck up. I'm we're not a coward. I'm trying to save you. Mike won. Fuck it. Good night. No. <laughs> Stop it. No, nah, it's too I'm late. Going, I'm going, we're going to, the to the audience. audience. Eight mile style. Everyone shut the fuck up. Everyone uh. shut the fuck up. Before you judge, you should know Mike Vecchione, big Giants fan. <laughs> <laughs> Audience, it's up to you right now. If you think Mike Vecchione won this battle, clap your hands. If you think Christian Finnegan won this battle, clap your hands. They win me with Mike Vecchione. Guys, clap it up for both these battlers, Mike Vecchione and Christian Finnegan.